this is when you know that it's cold. This is frozen on the inside. <laughs> oh no, Graham. Skivy Tito the Muse. Do you want to look outside? <gasps> You're so cute. You come down. You come. Very good. <gasps> wow. Okay, sit. Vemta. Oh, you... I don't think you want to go outside. I don't think we should go outside. Oh, 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 that's cold. Do the work and go out. Nah. Ska vi ändra oss för går in igen. Okay. Keep you singing. Vemta. Come here. Come. Get out there. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, that's so cold. The weather can be quite unpredictable here on Svalbard this time of year. So far, we've had a very mild fall with rain and warm temperatures, but that changed overnight and temperatures dropped to way below freezing. We haven't gotten a lot of snow yet, though, so we're waiting patiently for it to arrive. This week, the weather forecast warned us that a snowstorm was rolling in with strong winds of up to 25 meters per second. With temperatures of below 17 and winds that high, we knew that we had to prepare the cabin. Our main source of heat is through our wall-mounted heating unit, but when there are high winds, it struggles a little bit and we have to help heat the cabin by keeping a fire going. As you know, we don't have any trees on the island because nothing grows here, so the wood is imported from the mainland. Since the electrical lines lay on the ground here on Svalbard, power outages due to a storm aren't super common. So our main things to focus on before a storm rolls in is to have enough wood stacked inside and that everything outside is secured. These winds will grab onto anything and everything and throw it in the ocean. I'm absolutely loving slow mornings this time of year. I've made sure to plan into my schedule a lot of downtime, like starting the day reading in front of the fire. The best part of polar night is how peaceful it is, so I'm trying my best to lean into that as much as possible. This is such a cozy morning. It's quite cold inside. That's why I'm wearing my beanie and why we have the fire on because the weather is really starting to become wintry. Fully covered in wool because it was, I think it was like 16 degrees when we woke up in the cabin because it's been very windy and stormy. We've had plenty of snowstorms lately. Not with a lot of snow because it's all blown into the ocean, but you know, with the intent of snow. We've had a very mild winter so far, or mild autumn so far. So now when it starts getting cold, you know, we need to like acclimatize, acclimatize, what? Acclimatize, acclimatizeros, acclimatize, acclimatize, what is going on? We need to get used to it. That's what I'm trying to say. I have a book update. So I finished this book and I can tell you that it is top three, probably top three worst books I've ever read. Yikes. This is just, it's just not good. I think also, I think it really is more teenage literature. And like, if you love this, you do you. Book, I think books are so individual and so like your own taste. But for me, I feel like it's a, bad story that's poorly written and I think it's got like hints of abuse that are dealt with in a really weird way and even though it might be like more towards teenage literature I don't think that the story suits teenagers either so I'm really not sure who it is for but I won't be buying any of her other books I'm very glad that I didn't 
So I just think it's shit, to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Colleen. You do you. It's very individual. But now what I'm reading is Christopher's favorite book, The Year of the Hair. Ever since we started dating, he's, he's a very big book reader, by the way. Like half of our library here is his books. He has been speaking about this book for so long. So now that I ordered some books, we don't have a bookshop up here, by the way. So now that I ordered some from the mainland a few weeks ago, I ordered this as well. And what I love, it's like a short read. It's from 1995 and it's written by a Finnish man. And it's about him and his adventures with a hair. And I'm a bit more than halfway through it and I absolutely love it. It is such a, like an infectious story of randomness and fun and it's cute and I love it so far. It's definitely gonna be one of those books that you can read a few times. I know Christopher's gonna read it again after I've read it now and it's just random, but it's, it's kind of about this man finding his joy in life, which I love and bringing this hair along on the, his adventures. So highly recommend. That's what I wanted to say. That's good. Oh, shush, shush. What a sit. Is it a bit windy? Hello. <laughs> you look in shock. What is that? It's a snake. It's your element. My plan was to get Grimm's walk in before most of the storm hit. By our cabin it wasn't too windy, but as soon as we came around the corner, we walked straight into the storm. Exciting as always. I know people will ask, why are you going out into that weather? But I don't really understand that question. Yes, it will be windy, it will be cold, but as long as it isn't dangerous, I don't mind being uncomfortable for half an hour or so in order for Grimm to get his walk in and for me to get some fresh air. I honestly find a storm quite exciting and interesting. always get tons of questions and comments on my videos about where the music I use is from and for me it is vital to use the right song to set the scene. Since the very start of my YouTube channel I've been using Epidemic Sound so to be working with them today on a video is so exciting. They are the market leading platform for restriction free music. I want to make you feel something when watching my videos whether it's you know the drama of the winter landscape or if it's just like the small emotions of the everyday scene. To find the perfect song, I first think about what it is that I want to convey. Do I want it to be cozy, happy, emotional, maybe all three? The Epidemic Sound website is super easy to use. You can browse through categories or just hang out on the Discover page where they give you recommendation based on previous downloads. I use this feature a lot. My other absolute favorite feature is the Find Similar button. It helps me find similar songs to my favorite ones without having to spend really any time searching for them. For example, do you remember this song from my summer boat video? Ooh. 
It gives me major goosebumps. Press find similar and here is a playlist of tracks with the same vibe and beat, etc. Let's see here what we got. See? Perfect. To elevate your content using high quality music, sign up using the link below to get a 30 day free trial and you can cancel your subscription at any time. The content you've uploaded stays cleared and monetized forever. And if you sign up using a yearly plan, you get 20% off. So thank you so much to Epidemic Sound and let's get back to the video. What better way to spend a stormy day than inside with your friends? One of my favorite Christmas traditions is definitely my yearly gingerbread house decorating evening. I prep everything that we need to do our houses. We have glug, saffron buns, and lots of Christmas vibes. After all the houses are done, I put a poll up on my Instagram to pick the winner. Lynn is super competitive and also super artsy. So naturally I have to try to beat her. So far she has won every year, <laughs> but this year I have a plan and I got a new approach to my house. <laughs> Look, I found a brown bear. Hi, cozy, good day. Oh my God. You're so cute. You look beautiful. How are you doing today? Say hello to the people. How did it go? Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lynn and Olivia have arrived and what is so funny is that both Lynn and I have prepped so many extra supplies for our houses in order to make the best one. We also have a thing of not showing each other what we're doing until we're at the table with our houses. So may the battle begin. turned out incredible. I'm always so impressed by Lynn's detailed work. She is a true artist. I decided to go for more construction this year, which was so much fun. We decorated for over seven hours. And guess what? I won the poll on Instagram, but only with like 30 votes. So I'm calling it even, almost.
Åh dig. Ja, kom, 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 kom. <laughs> Så, kom nu. <laughs> ja, äntligen fick man godset. För det var då Peter det var ett fina ljud. Det, hur är det? Hallå, god morgon. Oj, vi touch noses. God morgon. It's minus 16 degrees outside, Christopher. It's very cold today and it's been windy all night. So we woke up to the cabin being, what did I just say it was, 16 degrees? I think it's like 16 degrees inside, which is very cold. We keep our cabin at what, like 22? Yeah. But it's because of the wind because of the snowstorm, but now it's clear skies. So I feel like that is promising, but we only have our heating unit, which is working overtime. Have we much wind kvar? We don't have a lot of firewood left because we are buying some soon. As soon as we have some more snow so we can drive it down on our snowmobiles. So we are at the very end of our firewood supply. But that's okay. If we need, if we would need any, we could just go and buy bags of it. But it's just that we would have to carry it down. We're gonna watch an episode of the Christmas calendar. There's one every uh, year in Sweden and one in Norway, and they're different every year. I don't know if you have this where you live, but we have like 10 minute episodes every morning. Um, I remember growing up to this, and I remember my favorite ones. So it's 10 minute episodes every day, every morning about something that they've made up. Usually centered around some sort of magic or some story and they're both magical this year. Oh, I need leaves. Leaves. I'm starting to heat up. Smaka den här gott. Se det här. Här är det. Jag ska ändå kolla om de har någon ny kula för i år. Den här 2023-modellen. After the snowstorm came clear skies and a white landscape. I sat in front of the fire for a little while and when I had heated up, I headed into town to meet up with my friend Lynn. As soon as we saw all the snow and the beautiful starlit sky, we knew that it was the perfect day for a hike. You did a hike, yeah? You ready to go to the top, Grim? You look very ready. We made it, Lynn! It was sweaty there at the end. Yeah, a little steep. Yeah. But it was amazing. Such a good hike. Incredible. And look, yeah, look at the view behind us. And that's where Santa Claus lives. He's home. It's very, very icy out though. Super icy. Yeah, super, super icy. But now we're gonna sit up here and we are going to, we're gonna drink coffee. Grim brought some snacks. We're gonna enjoy this view. And then we're gonna go down. 
I love hiking, especially in the darkness of the polar night. To head out with only a headlight and a backpack up a steep snow-covered mountain is both thrilling and calming. I feel the most like myself and in my element when I'm out on adventures. Whether it's a wild one or just a village hike doesn't matter. I love it. I feel content in a way that I have a hard time finding elsewhere. It's a mix of challenging myself, seeing Grimm so happy and getting to hang out with my friend, all while really appreciating the nature we live in. It's usually quite a bit colder and windier at the top, so I brought an extra puffer jacket with me. Grimm is a Finnish Lapun, which means that he's bred for winter. He's comfortable in temperatures down to minus 30 degrees, so he does not need a puffer jacket. Lynn had both coffee and sandwiches for us to enjoy while watching the incredible view and some northern lights dancing across the sky. Nothing is colder than sitting still in minus 17 degrees, so when we stood up we had to wake up our toes and legs and hands, and the best way to do so is to do some sort of jumping dance. So when we could feel our legs again we started to head down the mountain. Lynn was making fun of how I was walking to not fall on the ice, and I've never seen karma work faster, because one second after she mocked me she fell straight on her butt. <laughs> But she was fine, I helped her up, and we continued down the mountain. I can happily tell you that Grimm is the one that gets recognized the most around town, and we love it when people come up and say hi. I can't believe we're almost halfway through the polar night already, but as always, I am loving it. The darkness feels soothing, every day is magical, and even the polar night storms have a charm to them. I came back home to the northern lights dancing across the sky above the cabin, so that is what I will leave you with today. As always, thank you so much for being here and for all the continued support. We will be doing our yearly live on the 25th of December for anybody wanting to hang out for a little bit or just in need of some company. Also, don't forget to head to our Patreon if you want to see more content from us. It's linked in the description. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Love y'all. Bye.